What's going on guys? Yankee Cowboy here. Back with another gun review. This is another offering from Sig Sauer. We got the Sig Sauer Emperor Scorpion here. This is a pretty new offering from Sig. I was pretty excited to get it. I stumbled across it one night on the internet and uh, went to my local shop. Lo and behold, he had it sitting there in the, uh, <clears throat> in the cabinet. This is the Fastback model. And uh, when I went to the gun shop and I seen, I seen it sitting there next to another 1911, I was like, wow, is that, the, uh, is that the fastback version? Sure enough, it was, so I picked it up and grabbed it. So we're going to jump down here and take a closer look at it. All right, so here's the box, guys, your typical Sig Sauer plastic box. Uh, Sig Sauer offers the same box for pretty much every uh, firearm they sell. So nothing fancy there. Let's open it up. Now, mind you, this has been shot and everything. I just put it back in here for the, for the review purposes. <clears throat> so we'll open it up. Pistol comes in a plastic bag, as they all do. Got your standard literature here. Your standard... Uh, manual which SIG puts out a pretty good manual they give you the six hour sticker which I've already put on something it's not in here but that's okay <clears throat> some NRA and some Milcom uh, lubricant that they promote which they give you a little bit of and a little plug for the six hour ammunition which I do have right here I have tried their this is actually what I carry in the mag and uh, it's actually pretty good ammo and it's not too bad priced on when you get on sale get your lock a little breech safety when you get it two magazines there's only one mag in the in the in the pistol right now because the other ones you know <clears throat> the other ones in my ATI you get some of the Milcom six hour lube that they're promoting which is uh, which is nice a little tube of that and here's the uh, here's the pistol so we'll take this out <clears throat> you know they all come with their little with a little six hour banner on there which I just like I said the gun's been shot it's been carried just put this on here for uh, you know for demonstration purposes and open it up in the presentation all right so let's get this out of the way close the box up get the box out of the way we'll get down to the nitty-gritty of the review and big thing here guys is that it does not come with these grips these are VZ grips it comes with a G10 piranha grips this is the VZ grips I ordered that are on here but here's the stock piranha grips that it comes with which they're actually really nice grips they're very aggressive checkering on it they're, you know you get a real good purchase with these but I just uh, <clears throat> I mean it looks cool in contrast with the black on there but I like slimline grips these are standard thickness grips and uh, on most of my 1911s I like a slim very slim grip so I ordered the VZ grips which I think they look really cool on this gun I think it accents the gun pretty nicely by the way, these are uh, these are Hogue grips, as you can see in there. They're made by Hogue. Real nice grips, but like I said, I like the slim line. I wanted to change it up a little bit so it didn't look like everybody else's. I like to keep my stuff a little different. All right, so let's get into it. This is a uh, 1911. It's a carry model. It's got a four and a quarter inch barrel. Now, right off the get-go, I'm not a huge fan of a of a external extractor, just cosmetically, because you know 1911 typically. I like the internal, but I'll tell you what, it, does, it, it makes no matter to me function wise, it still functions fine and I think on this particular one it actually looks good because it breaks it up between the, the finish that's on there, which is a, this is a flat dark earth, which it looks a little more gold because this is the nitron flat dark earth, but I think it looks pretty good overall, contrast with the outside extractor, and like I said, it really makes no matter to me, I'm, I'm starting to get used to it. So let's safety check it first. I'll pop out the mag. These are the SIG mags. I'm really enjoying these mags right now. Got nice witness holes. They're numbered nice. Got a nice base plate on them. It's got a plastic follower, but that's okay. Excuse me, guys. It's not a plastic follower. It's metal. It's just coated in black. <clears throat> but it's uh, these are really good mags. I've been really enjoying these mags. And they're only 20 bucks. So, like I said, I, I've been using Chip McCormick and Wilson. And I think I, I like these a little bit better. All right, so the mag's out. Let's uh, open it up. Nothing in the nothing in the chamber. Nothing in the mag well, so we're safe. 
It's got the uh, Sig Light night sights on it, which these are, this is Novak style, which these are really, really bright, guys. These are real bright in a, in a nighttime situation. They glow really good. <clears throat> Come around this side. Like I said, I had these grips uh, made from VZ. They got the nice heavy cutout here for to hit the mag release. Got a skeletonized trigger, skeletonized hammer. There's the business end. You know, black up front. I think contrasting wise, it looks really nice. Takedown, standard takedown like your uh, your normal 1911s, which we'll take it down in a second. Trigger looks fantastic in it. It's got a great, it's got a great trigger on it, guys. A little bit of take up here, which is adjustable, not a biggie. Then you'll have your brake. There's your reset. It's got a really nice trigger. Back strap on it is uh, checkered with that piranha checkering to match the original grips that were on it. This is a fastback model. It's not a bobtail. This is called a fastback. It's got a little heavier sweep to it. Heavy, heavy checkering on the front strap. Real nice checkering on this front strap. Pretty much pros and overall, you know, first thoughts of it. Cons, I, I, I got a couple cons for it. And uh, <laughs> not many guys. But first con is, I, I wish it came with a rail. They probably, you know, it's a pretty combat looking gun. They should have threw a rail on this particular one. I'm sure they'll come out with one. Like I said, this is a fairly new offering from SIG. But uh, no rail on it, which is not a biggie. And the, uh, the thumb safeties on here, I think on all SIGs, they're very short, which I'm okay with. You know, I'm not really going to say it's too much of a con, but seeing how, like I said, this is a combat style gun, they should have went with a slimmer profile and a little longer, but, you know, no biggie. It's nothing I, can, uh, I can't handle. Not really so much a con, but other than that, I, I don't have a lot bad to say about the pistol. I've got about 300 rounds through it. It's, it's spot on. I have no trouble with it. It, you know, it runs like a sewing machine, guys. I mean, it's a SIG, it's a 1911. The tolerances are, are really good. It's very tight, very good shooting gun. I mean, I'm using the uh, breakthrough on it and it's been holding up really good. Let's give it a quick breakdown, guys. Like I said, it breaks down like a standard 1911. <clears throat> you got your plug up here. I'll swing this out of the way. All right. Take this to your notch there. Most of you guys know how to take down 1911, so I'm not going to get too much detail on that. And there we go, we lost our plug. Take the slide off. Show you guys the frame quick. You know, typical standard 1911. Extractor, feed ramp. Nicely done. Let's get into the, into the slide here. Take out our guide rod. It's not a full length guy rod, which I'm fine with that. It's not a big deal there. Swing our bushing out of the way. Take our barrel out. SIG puts out a nice barrel. They do a nice job on their barrels. 45 auto, SIG sour. Real nice barrel. SIG does, SIG does a great job. They do quality. This is a Series 80. But what, I, what I'm going to say about this, for those of you guys who, who do deep cleaning and do uh, use the ultrasonic, this does come out. You do not have to take off the you do not have to take off the sight like on Kimber's and some other guns. For a Series 80, the trigger disconnect is usually underneath this, and you and you can't get it out. This one here, once you pull this tab off and the extractor comes out, that pin falls out. You can put this thing in in a in a <clears throat> and an ultrasonic and clean it and have no problems. So even though it is a series 80 slide, you can take this one fully down and uh, and get that thing in an ultrasonic cleaner, which is nice because I do like to do that after maybe you know a thousand rounds or so. I'll I'll throw it through the ultrasonic and give it a good cleaning and then give it a good lube back up. All right, so reassembly, just reverse of what we did. We'll put our barrel back in. Take our guide rod, get that back in there, get that set up, take our frame, slide it back on, a 
bind it up with the notch guys and we'll put our uh, takedown pin back in. Bring it back up, throw our safety on, get our barrel bushing back in here, get that swivel down into position. And she's back together. Make sure she functions. Everything looks good. All right, let's put the mag back in. Let's talk about the cost. What does this thing cost? What does it cost to get it to you in your home and uh, out of your range? If you can find it, because like I said, it's a new offering. It's the fastback model. Stuff like this, when you see it in the local shop, you got to jump on it, otherwise you're going to regret it. You know, I've done that with plenty of guns before. I'm like, ah, I'll get it later next time. They're gone. It's tough to find. Typically, these are like a thousand seventy-nine. So you're talking thousand dollars, thousand dollar range, which for a six hour, nineteen eleven, I don't think that's a bad price for what you're getting. This thing is, you know, it's right up there with you know, top of the line, nineteen elevens in my opinion. So that's the price point on it, and uh, rarity of it, like I said, it's it's pretty new, especially the Fastback one. It's not even on their website. I couldn't even get any specs for it, you know, to put, throw in the video, other than the fact that I know it's a four and a quarter inch barrel and stuff like that. But uh, it, it's so new. There's really no, I haven't seen any videos with the Fastback model on the internet. You'll see Emperor Scorpions out there, but not a Fastback model, which, like I said, when you see stuff like this, that's rare. Not that it's rare, but... There, it, there's not a lot of them out there right now, so if you see something like that, jump on it. But it's a six hour, it's a 1911. I mean, I just want to pretty much show you guys this model because, like I said, there's not really anything out there on the internet about it on YouTube. So I figured I'd do a video on it. It's a pretty new gun I got, and like I said, I've been carrying it, it's in the rotation. Got about 300 rounds through it. No malfunctions. The only malfunctions I did have wasn't due to the pistol. Um, I'm going to do a video on that. I was using frog lube. I got this in the, in the heart of the winter and the frog lube gummed up on the slide and, and the slide was having trouble. So once I wiped it down, got it out of there, it ran like a sewing machine. So I got like north of 300 rounds through it and that was right off the get-go with the frog lube. No problem since. And I switched over to break, breakthrough clean. That and ballast all back and forth between the two. But uh, I don't see any problems with this particular 1911 six hour quality 1911 we all know that 1911s are tried and true so that's it guys just a quick just a quick one on this particular one uh, i want to just get this out there and show you guys that they do make a fastback model of this emperor because there is no videos that i know of on youtube if there is throw a link because i haven't seen one all right well, we're gonna we're gonna head back out and do some final thoughts on this one all right, guys, my final thoughts on this particular 1911. <clears throat> it's a 1911, guys. <laughs> there isn't much to talk about, and it's a SIG. Uh, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I mean, I, I've got some, some rounds through it. You know, there's still quite a bit more to be put through it. But as of now, I've got no complaints with it. I'm very happy with it. It's, it's in my EDC rotation, and uh, that's about it. So any questions or comments on the SIG Emperor Scorpion Fastback 1911, leave them below. Don't forget to check out the Facebook page and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.